Hmm.
can't stay down. Sensei, isn't it? Stereo High School, Class 2 2. Yes? Um, sir? Take your break. Uh -huh. You guys don't say much, do you? After this is over, you better start talking. Time to tell me what you know! Keep going. Yo. Need a hand with these guys? Huh? Good job holding them back on your own. Dude. You're not the only hero here. Uh, but, I mean, where did you even come from? I was watching from inside, man. Okay. You shouldn't get involved. Relax, fella. Allow me to show you how it's hey, done. Hey, hold on. Listen up. I'm just gonna warn you, I'm a better fighter than this guy. Huh? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, you're welcome. Right. Thanks for making them slink into the night before I could even ask who they were. Huh? Later. Um... Can I help you? I came here to meet someone. I'll just check upstairs real quick. Sensei. Are you okay? Did someone get here before me? I'm sorry. There's nothing I can say. I can't tell you anything you don't already know. Uh, what happened up here? Did someone come to intimidate you? Someone who might be involved? I couldn't make out who the woman was. She had sunglasses on. But what did she say to you? That I need to stay away from this. 
The whole Mikoshiba kun case. And then she said that you need to do the same. Me too? Yes. And what if I were to refuse? If you said no, then she told me I should give you this picture. Huh? This is Mikoshiba. I'm so sorry, but I... I'm leaving. Wait! I get it. At least let me walk you home. Just stop! I don't want anything to do with this! If you come back to the school, I'd appreciate it if you would stop talking to me. There's nothing I can do to help you anymore. Suspicious. Hey, what the? Hey. Still so many unanswered questions. That would be the white mask of the Yokohama Liomon. These guys would break your knees for the right price. So they're just a bunch of thugs for hire? Pretty much. Well, anything else I can do for you? I've earned something of a reputation here in this town. But you've got a face I haven't seen anywhere before. Why are these goons picking a fight with you? Got any ideas? Mm, I've got a hunch. But I'm gonna keep it to myself. A tightwad, huh? Didn't I just bail your ass out? Handyman? It's Kuana. You got trouble here, I'm the one you call. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I can handle shit the cops won't deal with either. Not exactly a service I'm in need of at the moment. Crossing that line is tough, and I prefer to do it myself. Oh, really? And what line of work would that be? I'm a private detective in Kamurocho. What is it now? Some competition just showed up on my turf and made a scene, man. How would you feel if the situation was reversed? You wouldn't tolerate any disrespect, would you? So state your name, and then you say, Sorry, Kuwana, I made a bit of a ruckus here. Exactly how high up the food chain is a handyman in this town? I'm just trying to teach you some manners. People let you teach manners around here? Can't even exchange cards right. I see you know how to block a kick. So let's move on to the next part. Don't let me down now. Hey, what else you got? 
Better than I was expecting. Uh, right back at you. Give yourself a pat on the back. Hey, you want to tone it down, or you want another lesson? I'm listening. You don't know when to give up. Time's up, both of you. The cops are almost here. Sugira-kun? You know each other? After we get out of here. Come on, let's use the back way. Seriously? How do a couple of grown-ass men end up bickering like that? I was just finishing what he started. Yeah, and you can thank Sugihira-kun here that you're still standing. How do you even know this guy? Uh, Kawana-san's our senpai here in Ijincho. He's the local handyman. He's got tons of connections both above and below ground. So, definitely a higher tier of service than us. <sighs> Have you been working together? No, but we did pay our respects before we opened our office. Bowed our heads, asked for his blessing, all that. Unlike someone, Sugira-kun knows his manners. Settle down. So, Todd, who were those idiots back there? Kawana-san says they're a gang. The Yokohama Liumang. Specifically, Liumang assassins, called the White Masks. They were surprisingly inept back there, though. Nah, they just didn't know who they crossed. Hold up. Assassins? Why would someone put a hit out on Yagni-san? Maybe they were just out to scare you. I mean, I doubt even the Liumang would take someone out in public. They don't like crowds. Whatever the case, can you find out who hired them? I prefer to know who wants me dead. No can do. Even they don't know their clients. They get all their gigs piped in from the dark web. Good news is, you can hire them yourself, too. Want me to hit them up for you? No thanks. I'm good on the contract killing front. Man oh man. What kind of shit did you step in? If you're gonna make a mess in this town, I want in. Some things are better left to the locals. Especially when it starts turning gray. Fine by me. What is? Having someone around who knows the ins and outs of a gene show, man. Besides, don't you owe him for saving your ass from the white masks? He didn't save my ass. Pull the stick out, buddy. I can tell he's cool. Yo, wanna grab a drink? On me. <laughs> now here's a kindred spirit. You're on, but I'm getting round two. <laughs> See? I knew you weren't half bad. Wait, you don't mean now, do you? You coming with, Tuck? Nah, not tonight. I'm heading back to the agency. Got a few things to sort out. Your loss, as they say, always take what comes, never chase what leaves. <laughs> My
My thoughts exactly. Except maybe a little more fancy. <laughs> it's like we're already old friends. Gotcha.
gear. Huh? I see.
Yep. It's hard to imagine. And you're saying Sawa-sensei was given this picture? Right. And it must have really shaken her up. She wouldn't even stick around to have a chat. Some mysterious woman handed her the photo. She's got to be linked to Hiromika Shiba's murder in one way or another. If I had to guess, she's working with or for Ehara. But I couldn't tell you how they're connected. It might even be that she's the one who hired the Yokohama Liomong to attack you at that restaurant. If they're telling you to drop the Mikoshiba case, they're connected too. <laughs> a threat like that might have worked on a run-of-the-mill detective in over his head. But how do you think you even got on their radar at all, Yagamishi? Mikoshiba's case is so big they needed hired muscle to stop you? If I'm that much of a thorn in their side, the police investigation is worse. Yeah, that's true. Even if they stop you in your tracks, Kanagawa police would just pick up the trail right where you left off. I have to figure. I'm not the one they were really there to threaten into staying silent. It was Sawa-sensei. Four years ago, when Toshiro Ehara killed himself, apparently, she thought Mikoshiba was the one bullying him. I set up that meeting with her so she could tell me more about what really happened at the time. But as of now, someone's pretty bent on making sure she doesn't reveal that. 
That'd be my guess. Well, if that's the case, I'm afraid their threats were actually pretty effective. Sawa Sensei's lips are sealed now. There's not much we can really do about it. Don't worry. I'm not near done yet. Besides, they've already made one big mistake. Yeah? They hired a gang thinking they could scare a detective off the scent. No way in hell they're expecting me to double down even harder on it. <laughs> You're totally right. That was a rather massive oversight on their part. That night, the news broke on every channel and across the internet that the corpse found in Ijincho had been identified. Every student, teacher, and faculty member at Serio High School would know how Hiro Mikashiba died. The details were heartbreaking, and a lot of lives were about to be turned upside down. The alleged bully, Hiro Mikashiba, turns up dead. There is no mistaking the motive in his murder. As Yagami looks into the heart of the matter, a suicide four years prior, he is met with brutal backlash from the underworld. Why does Yagami face resistance at every turn? As night falls over Ichincho, the answer slips further into darkness. Yes, we have grief counselors on site. Hello. You've reached yes. Serio High School. Ah, uh, yes. yes. Right. It's tragic news. Miko Shibakun was one of our student teachers here, and the school is coping with it as best we can. Of course! Yes, our parents and guardians have every right to be upset about this. Yes. Oh, yes. Or now to the murder victim found in Izazaki Ijingsho. Yes. Authorities announced that they have identified the body as Hiro Mikoshiba, a student teacher at Seirio High School. Autopsy reports indicate the cause of death was blood loss from a sharp object. Mikoshiba was reported oh. as a missing person two months ago. So, what's the plan today, fellas? Honest, this hangover is kicking my ass. I'm gonna be kind of useless. Uh, maybe don't drink until sunrise. That's no good. Without you, Kaito-san, who's going to be the brains of this whole operation? <laughs> You'll have to manage, man. I figure I'll head back to Serio High today. I should check in on Sawa-sensei, see how she's holding up. She's got a lot on her shoulders now, huh? Pretty teacher like her doesn't deserve it. Right from the outset, Sawa-sensei flat-out denied that Mikoshiba ever bullied Toshiro Ahara. But then we learned she confronted him about his actions four years ago. Which means she was starting to suspect he was the bully. Then some chicken shade shows up, makes some threats, and suddenly teaches lips are sealed shut, huh? Whoever she was, she has to be involved with the murder. How else could she have Mikoshiba's picture from right before he died? It's almost like the killer was trying to hide any trace of bullying. And if so, that's pretty bizarre. Why is that? I mean, if Mikoshiba really was the bully, why bother covering that up? Wouldn't it work in their favor if word of that spread? That way the murder would be, I don't know, more justified? Yeah, I do see the logic there. Okay. But what gets me is, why would Sawa-sensei change her answer like that? Have you considered she may have been pressured to hide the truth? Perhaps by an overcautious superior? I wouldn't put it past Chairman Okuda to pull something like that. I doubt he has that kind of sway over her, though. Sawa-sensei doesn't exactly mince words with him. Guess we'll have to ask her directly if we really want to know. Yeah, but didn't she make it pretty clear you need to keep your distance? What kind of a detective would I be if I gave up because of that? <laughs> Point taken. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, sure is. Help me kick this damn hangover. Say what? Might as well hang back, Sugira. Only I can get in and out of the school without raising a red flag right now.
Excuse me, Yagami-san? Huh? Koda-san, what's up? Did a teacher call you over? Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Okay. I saw it on the news earlier. Mikoshiba-sensei was killed. But you already knew that, didn't you? Yeah. <sighs> I figured you knew something. Yes, that's why you've been asking about him. You should have told us, man. I couldn't. I knew how hard you guys would have taken it. You know who did it? I mean a lot for us to know. Seeing how he looked after us and all. We're still in the dark about that, mostly. Unless you guys have any leads. All we have to go on is he was probably killed soon after he stopped going to class. So... He really was murdered. He said on TV it took them two months to find the body. Could that mean it happened on the day he went missing? A good theory, Matsun, but you're starting to sound like one of those mystery club geeks. Oh, what did Sawa-sensei tell you? She give you anything solid? Nah, we didn't really get into it yesterday. Way too many, uh, other things came up. Damn. It's just... It's hard hearing all this, man. Will you at least keep us posted if you find out anything? No promises, I'm afraid. But hey, I'm glad you guys are warming up to me. I'm Matsui, by the way. That's more like it. Could you keep me in the loop, too? I didn't like Mikoshiba-sensei much, but I never imagined this. Now I'm kind of... conflicted about the whole thing. I get that. Anyway, I should get going. Hey, Sawa-sensei? Look, I know I can't keep you off campus. I don't have that kind of authority. But would you please stop bothering me? Can you at least tell me what happened yesterday? Enough! How many times must I repeat myself? Hey, Tsukumo, it's me. You think you could pin down where Mikoshiba's body was discovered? Of course. In fact, I could do that pretty quickly. Why? Did you want to go there now? That's the idea. Okay, but do note that it's been a few days since they found him. The police may have already scooped up the evidence. Yeah, but I want to check it out anyway. Then I can decide if it was a waste of time. <laughs> In other words, you've got a detective's intuition? What a superpower to have. Okay, here we go. They found Mikoshiba's body in an abandoned building near Sakura River. It's near a small park. On the second floor of the building, specifically. The first floor is just a bunch of empty boutiques. You're the man, Tsukumo. Thanks.
suspicious. Hey. Okay. 